Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on September 22nd, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to a full update here on what's happening with our world and our sun. This is our sun today. Looking at an active incoming sunspot. Not a very big one, but it is pretty active here. These images are sped up looking at outgoing 304 angstrom and incoming here on the right side there's that sunspot coming in now a little earth to scale view and also watching uh, northern coronal hole stretching to equatorial in the latest images here we'll be watching that images here to see our heliosphere thank you all for watching don't forget to smash that like button leave a comment say hi tell me where you're watching from broadcasting from Calgary Alberta stay aware prepared looking here at Alaska 2 image not too much to talk about for space weather still very quiet at the beginning of this solar cycle 25 Looking here at real-time solar wind as we are steady at about 333 kilometers per second. Schumann resonance for today, power of 42. A little highly energetic in the last eight hours. And for earthquakes, last 24 hours, it's been pretty busy, especially across North American plate, east side ring of fire. Starting out here with 2.5, Nevada as well, Ferndale going off, San Francisco towards BC or Mexico border, as well Missouri there with a 2.6, little earthquake swarm happening in the Puerto Rico, the Caribbean plate. As well, South America here with a 4.8 in Chile and 4.1 in Chile as well. But I'm warning in this region here for Peru. And as Sabancaya, I just got a notice for Sabancaya. Large eruption there. So watch for an earthquake. I'm expecting a large earthquake, South America. 4.0 there in India. Moving towards Russia, 4.6 aftershock after that very shaky 5.5 reported yesterday. And all is quiet along the western ring of fire right now. It makes you wonder what is going on. Earthquakes bouncing between California, Hawaii, and Alaska. Triangulating out here, trying to release quite possibly a larger earthquake. So just have a plan and be ready, everybody. We could be expecting a large earthquake here in this region, North America, more towards South America. Could be wrong. I hope I am. Looking here at the most recent volcanoes being updated, Langila in Papua New Guinea. That is a brand new one as well. Tokono in Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, Popo in Mexico. Lots of fires to go through there. Uh, Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego in Guatemala, Sabancaya in Peru, and as well here, uh, Ebico in Russia. So that's about eight major volcanoes being updated and one brand new, Langila, Papua New Guinea. A couple months ago, it activated, then quieted, and there's been no activity, but now it's apparently active again. Langila, Papua New Guinea. We'll have to be sure to add that to the volcanic activity report, which I'll be working on and releasing tonight. So stay tuned. And don't forget to smash that like button, everybody. Help support this channel. And get it shared. Looking here, a tropical storm a dolphin who's just going to scathe eastern shorelines of, Fu of Fukushima. Japan 
And as well, we've got Tropical Storm Teddy, who is a Category 2, making landfall right now as we speak, Nova Scotia. And this will affect all of the Atlantic provinces as it comes in. Five meter swell, watch for flash flooding across all of the mainland's Atlantic provinces. And the fires just keep burning and burning. The skies are kind of clearing out over the areas and you can really see a scorched earth. That is for sure. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who's lost their life, friends, family, or their home, or their livelihood. That's what I meant to say was their livelihood. Looking here at NASA Worldview, and you can see day by day, it just, the smoke from these wildfires stretched right across North America into the Atlantic Ocean. smoke now just heading into another round of smoke heading into Ontario watching these areas here waiting for plumes to come out because there are some very active volcanoes in Central America right now and earth just looks sick right now I'm sorry everybody it just looks sick between the dust the uh, volcanic ash from the very active volcanic season and as well, these wildfires being choked out. Five-day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean here, you see a large low-pressure system moving in. And this is going to be an atmospheric river of moisture for about five days for the BC coastline, BC interior, and straight up into Alaska. So watch for increase in seismicity throughout this area as well as this large low-pressure system is not able to penetrate the mountains and it's just going to spin and spin, moving northward to Alaska. So a lot of rain associated with this. Not much for Alberta. As all of this comes in, it is very high elevation moisture. <whistles> Overlooking the rest of North America, we have Tropical Storm Beta, who's slowly moving across the southeastern United States. And like they haven't had enough rain this year, Thoughts of prayers going out to everybody in the southeastern United States. We've been warning of these flooding conditions coming, and they are here. Ontario expecting some fall weather moving in, but then you'll have some thunderstorms moving in later in the week. Strong transi transition as Teddy moves northward to Greenland and then to Iceland. So pretty much this tropical storm is heading to the North Pole second storm to do so this season and a tropical storm Paulette is reborn kind of doing a little jog in the Atlantic Ocean now for 17 days overlooking Europe large little pressure system moving in and affecting all of Europe pretty much from Spain stretching to Finland Watch for storms, rain, and very mixed bag of temperatures. And watch for extreme weather throughout Italy and Greece. Heavy rains continuing across India, especially towards the mountain regions of Mongolia. Intense rain, heavy snow throughout this region and it has been continuing to do that for about a week now thoughts of prayers going out to everybody prayers for humanity as we are being affected there's tropical storm dolphin heading into the uh, Kamchatka the Sea of Osk very interesting indeed things are playing out just as I've predicted and I've been talking about for three years. The increased low pressure systems, the erratic jet streams, atmospheric rivers, intense flooding, volcanic eruptions. Overlooking South America here, watch for things really heating up. We have a lot of fires breaking out as well across the region, 
but watch this region here as a low pressure system comes there will be a lot of hail and extreme weather associated with it as very hot ahead of that storm overlooking Africa not much to talk about daily evaporation rains really but a lot of it moving northward stretching the equator gonna leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere much love to everybody and thank you for watching today five day forecast space weather and as well an update on earthquakes from around the world keeping you aware and prepared during our ever-changing planet earth our time is short so please share and show you care smash that like button leave a comment tell me where you're watching from Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Get your morning due. Bye-bye. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.